I'm very excited on the next edition of Isolation Interviews. My guest is a fantastically talented actress, the very lovely Morgana O'Reilly. So pleased to have you on the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're currently um, located in Auckland, New Zealand. So, I mean, how is everything for you? Because you guys are, are in a good position at the moment. Yeah, we've done really well. We did full lockdown. Um for five weeks when was that that was like <laughs> april or something and then we just managed to yeah really kick it and we're, we're doing good yeah life is almost normal apart from international travel i mean had you still been in melbourne doing neighbors um obviously that would have been a completely oh. different story yeah oh yeah that's really heartbreaking actually we moved at the end of last year and without knowing that this was going to happen and then so it's sort of crazy that not only have we moved and everything's going here but the place that we just were what is suffering so badly it's really it's really sad now i was just talking uh, literally within the last couple of hours to rob mills who of course played evil finn kelly on neighbors um now oh, cool. ha have you guys ever actually worked together because obviously your your characters kind yeah. of in, intertwined in that obviously finn caused a lot of pain for, for naomi's family but have you actually worked together no we haven't <laughs> that <laughs> happens a lot on neighbors you sort of talk about people but you've never really being in the same room with him. <laughs> <laughs> now obviously we must talk about uh, that storyline because uh, I mean we'll go back and talk about uh, when you're your first time on the show but I want to talk about your return first of all which that was a great re return you were back for about a month um, I mean for you obviously that fa also fits in quite nicely just before lockdown but for you with going back to play that character I mean, what was it like being back on set with all, all the great cast members and seeing people like Colette again uh, and Chris Milligan? What was it like? Oh, my gosh. Like, Colette and Chris, are re they really are like family to me. And I, um, you know, we try and see each, each other as much as we can anyway. Well, obviously not at the moment for numerous reasons. Um, and Chris has been up in L.A. because he, him and Jenna spend a lot of time up there. Sometimes I see them up there. It's really nice. But in that building you know on in that studio it's such a it's like a little micro universe and so it's a real it's really good time and because that show moves at such a pace those guys they're so good at what they do that it's just so fun it's like playing a game of tennis or squat like something really fast and um when you play with somebody who's good it's really fun like that because they can just go boof, 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 boof. so um yeah that is a real joy but i think it was like like I was on my way to a studio my first day back and it was like I hadn't actually uh, like contemplated what it was going to be like like I got everything sorted with childcare and everything so that I could work and all that stuff and then I was on my way there and I was like whoa oh my gosh I'm on my way back to <laughs> like I haven't really thought about it properly and then it was just like just the same it's just the same in, I mean, in a beautiful way was it quite easy to slip back into that character? Because obviously you hadn't played it for near enough, is it five years now? Yeah. Yeah, that was totally, it was fine to slip back into it for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I mean, the, 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 the great thing with that character is although that you were only on the show for about, was it a year, year and a half, um, the character, mm. people really took her to, to their hearts and, and really love Naomi. She's such a, a yeah. fun character. And I know she's got her bad side when obviously she... Uh, um, tried to come between Toadie and Sonia, which is not a clever move to do uh, on a show like Neighbours. But but she's got that heart, and people just love love her because she's she's vulnerable, I suppose you could say. Yeah, totally. I know she's a she's a tart with a heart, <laughs> <laughs> and she's a, she's a great story story device in a show like Neighbours because you it's really fun to play somebody like her because. She can, obviously, her storylines are really fun, but then she can be used a lot in other people's stories storylines because she can stir things up. But then she's also really capable of a heartfelt moment, so she has a depth to her, which is, which is great. It's all you can ask for as an actor. And they let me really go nuts with her, which <laughs> is really fun. 
because also the other great thing is because you you're very you've got great comic timing as well so naomi is such a funny character as well as being um you know hard hitting and everything she can do those really funny moments yeah that's real fun and like and because she just gets herself in such sticky situations that is definitely my favorite thing about her is that she when she gets in an awkward moment oh i do love that and then and that she can't quite ever cover up when she's really into somebody or something you know she struggles it's great yeah i think the great thing about her is she's one of these characters that people can relate to and they can think i've had those moments where i've just gone blank or i've just you know completely frozen in front of someone um so people can really warm to her and really relate to to her and sort of see bits of her maybe in themselves yeah totally i think she and in the face of all those moments that she has the brashness to kind of brush them off that that i think that adds on top of that to people way that they can relate but then she takes it that one step further (laughs) (laughs) now did it take much convincing to get you to come back for for the uh for the 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 cameo appearance this year or was that as as soon as they asked were you like yeah I'm, i'm back i'm going um it did take a little bit well yeah a little bit with i wasn't quite ready before that i think and then it just worked out that time so um yeah it was great and uh i could only i couldn't spare much time so it just so they were great i think they there was a little talk of wanting a bit more time and i said i could give you three weeks and they were like we'll do it and i was like oh sweet let's do it yeah (laughs) and I mean I must say the amazing thing about uh Naomi is her relationship with Sheila now I've had the pleasure of uh meeting and interviewing Colette on two occasions now and she is one of the nicest warmest people you could ever meet um what is it like for you when you get to play with with Colette and have her as your mum oh she's just amazing she's like this she's a real she's a lioness our Colette she's so fiercely loyal and she really will just she just is such a mum such a mama like looks after everybody and um has looked after me a lot and yeah it's wonderful and did you I know think her- as soon as i started she was like on one of my first days out at studio and i was sitting in the lunch room like having lunch and she was like i mean i love I'm, and i love that you described her as like the warmest nice and she is very warm but she's also like she's super brash she's like <laughs> now come over here can't sit down come on <laughs> <laughs> now you sit with me who do you want to know about i'll tell you about everybody <laughs> um yeah she's awesome <laughs> i mean did you know her before joining neighbors or, or was that the first time you met her that was the first time i met her well actually i think technically the first time that i met her was um doing the audition she was in there yeah i was gonna say i remember when when i i think it was the second time i met her um and we were having because i i like to whenever i meet someone i like to have a photo taken with them um i'm about six foot and she's um a little bit smaller than me let's say (laughs) um so taking the photo um there was a bit of a height difference and i remember showing her the photo and she said does someone chop my legs off (laughs) it was so funny (laughs) just just the comparison between the two of us was just uh yeah quite (laughs) quite a big difference you could really tell um but yeah i I mean sort of when you get to do a show like neighbors i mean for you what would you say is the biggest thing you've taken away from doing you know being a part of that show and and you know obviously naomi will always be part of neighbors history now yeah i guess it is it's a real honor to be a part of something so iconic and it really means a lot to people that show which i which you can forget about when you're in the studio because it's you know you're at work and then um so that's a real that's really awesome um and then you know going to i went to edinburgh fringe festival while i was on the show and i don't think i've ever felt more famous (laughs) than going up to the uk which is really cool um and then also just in terms of um, from a technical point of view it's um a great way to just learn how film set runs like really quickly um because it is so fast and there's all these amazing people doing their jobs and um even if you've been doing that work for a long time you can really see the cogs working and how hard they will work so that's really invaluable when you go and do other stuff and you just it makes you a real professional 
I think. No, and also it becomes like a superpower because you learn these lines every night. <laughs> and it got to a point where I think, and I still, because I think it's a, it's a muscle that how you can remember lines. And it got to the point where I think I could look at a script once and I'd know the lines. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> now, I was going to say, obviously, Naomi in her time, she had uh, her love interests uh, over the years, including Paul Robinson, um, even Josh Willis, which was uh, an interesting uh, pairing. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, did, was there a, 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 a sort of a, um, a partner for Naomi that you enjoyed you know, working with the most? Or do you like Naomi when she's just on her own, being her own person? Oh, good question. I... I mean, I love all those guys. They're so great. They're super fun to work with. I do love it when she's up to mischief. And that usually means that she's not with somebody or she's trying to hide something from her mum. And I think her greatest love affair is with her mum. Like, they're such a wonderful pair. And, um, and I really liked on this return that her and Kyle were a lot more they were a bit more like confidants together, which I, that was really fun. Um, that, you know, that she could like see what was happening in his life and, you know, <laughs> call him out on some things. <laughs> like I, I like that she's sort of in amongst everybody's stuff. That's my favorite probably. And the amazing thing as well is we really got to see uh, Chris and Colette, you know, a standout performance because uh, with obviously uh, Gary's death. Um, yeah. I mean, particularly uh, Colette who, really can do those I mean tugs at the heartstrings is an understatement she really knows how to do those powerful performances um and I imagine that when you're doing scenes where you have to cry a lot it's very exhausting yeah it can be well we I always used to joke with her because she just that she just all of a sudden streep me when she'd just do a mural street where she'd just be like and I was like Jesus Colliot I didn't realize <laughs> <laughs> go there oh bit of I better get better then, eh? Like, <laughs> the thing. Yeah, she just streaked me. Yeah, and it can be exhausting. And I know that um, she, with all that Gary stuff, she felt really strongly about things. And it sounds silly when you talk about it like this, but like things like that she wasn't going to wear any makeup. Like those are big calls on a show like that, you know, that are really, they're really lit and they're, it's heightened and you do that stuff. But that she would fight to um, find an authenticity to serve that storyline, which meant a lot to her and I know it, uh, to everybody, you know. So, yeah, she's very brave. And did you ever get to pr uh, cross pr uh, paths with Damien Richardson, who played Gary? Because I'm trying to remember if you were ever on the show at the same time. Yeah, we, we did a little bit at the start when he first came in, um, which was really fun. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> he made me laugh once so so much one day I put my neck out he was great <laughs> I wish I could have worked with more actually he was awesome now I mean obviously I know that the, the burning question on everyone's lips will be will we ever see Naomi back and I know that we've just had you back but so many people want her back either permanently or semi-permanently <laughs> do you think that would ever be possible oh I totally yeah I'd love to just go on for visits um every now and then obviously some things need to happen in the world to make that possible again. But yeah, she'll be back. She'll be back. Now, one other project I wanted to talk to you about, uh, which is the, the eighth series is about to uh, start showing here in the UK, is Wentworth Prison, which you were a part of uh, last oh, year. Yes. What was that like to film? Because yes. it looks so much fun. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. It's so much fun. And it's... um and really amazing to be on a on a set with that many women that is <laughs> awesome and then there's some really nice parallels there with Colette obviously she did Prisoner and I think at one point um you know when you go on to a set they usually give you a little puffer jacket or something to keep you warm and I looked on the inside of it and it was Doreen and it, not that it was hers back in the day don't worry they're his, <laughs> but they're you know the, the newer character of Doreen which I thought was pretty cute um, yeah, that was a that was great, and also you know you're playing storylines in a show like that, that that often you don't get to play as a woman, like um, which is fine, you know, as a actress you play storylines that revolve around children or partners and family situations or work, but you don't get to play 
those kind of criminal criminal minded storylines very much if it, ever usually and it's great it's, it's, it's great to have a show that is you know female fronted and you know great to see women at their best doing you know, you know mm. amazing acting work um and also you know it's a bit different to like your neighbors and everything because you're able to be a bit more rude and a bit more uh, yes. well, there's lots of violence lots of all, all of that is in, involved yeah, I think I got to say the C word in my first episode <laughs> and stop the canteen. Although, you know, what is the other amazing thing about doing that show is all the extras, all the other women there who are playing the support, you know, they are pro <laughs> they're proper freaky. They're proper <laughs> scary. And a lot, of, a lot of them have been in prison. <laughs> yeah, so I think my first scene up was like, calling everybody in the canteen to stop eating so I could call out some bitch and I'm like, oh my gosh, but all these chicks are like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, will we get to see you back on that at all anytime soon, do you think? Oh, I don't think so. I think she's gone. I've, they haven't called me back. I'd go back in a second. <laughs> but um, no, I think she's gone. Who knows where she is? Spin off show. There we go. That would be fantastic. <laughs> now, obviously, we hope to see you again soon uh, back in the UK because we do love you here in the UK. Um, but I just want to say it's been an absolute pleasure uh, speaking to you. Um, thank you for, oh, for giving up your you. time to talk to me. And just before we go, um, have you got any messages for anyone who's listening in hospital, who's you know stuck in hospital, uh, not doing oh, very well at the moment? Any messages for them? Oh, like just hang in there. It's so it's such a huge. And mental year, and uh, I think we, although we can't be close to each other, which is exactly what we all want to be doing during a time like this, I think everybody is really, um, everybody's hearts are, are shining out for everybody who is stuck in a place where they don't want to be. Um, yeah. Some I wish I had wiser words than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Now, I just want to say, Morgana, thank you again. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, meeting you and speaking to you. Uh, of course, keep safe and thank you again for your time. Oh, thank you, Matthew. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Perfect. Keep safe, keep, keep sane and clean <laughs> <laughs> and well. <laughs>